In this video, we're going to talk about lapping rebar and what the basic requirements of that actually are. The black arrow is pointing to two pieces of rebar, one that was doweled into the foundation of the existing house and the other which runs across the new concrete foundation for the room addition that uh, we were working on. Now a the correct lap distance of the lap for two pieces of rebar is 40 times the diameter of the rebar. So in this case the rebar is a number four and a number four has a one-half inch diameter. So if we multiply 40 times 0.5 or 40 times one-half of an inch, we will get 20 inches. So the rebar needs to lap a minimum of 20 inches um, in order to um, have the correct distance there. Now, um, just to give you a better idea, you know, I went with a half inch. Let's just pretend like we were using one inch rebar. This is um, simpler. If we had two pieces of one inch rebar that we needed to lap, we would multiply the diameter of the rebar, which is one, one inch, and we would multiply that by 40, which would give us 40 inches. So we would actually need to lap a one inch piece of rebar 40 inches. Now that is a large lap. So again, that should give you an idea if you're ever going to do any concrete work, foundations, um, and then make sure that they're tied off good. Now, another thing I would like to point out is this might not be the case all the time. You should always check with a structural engineer, your building department, or someone else. I'm just trying to give you a general idea of what um, is standard in the construction industry.